Hello everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, we can definitely, with some of the cooler temperatures we've been seeing, I think fall is on the way. I hope so. Um, everything's been very, very warm this summer. So yes. we have uh, noticed a lot of people asking for uh, pools. Making mm -hmm. sure homes have air conditioning. There's been a lot of stuff that you can tell has been really affected by the summer weather. I guess I never really thought about that, but I guess the temperature and how the seasons are depends on what people look for in a home. Do you, do you really find that? Yeah, you can. Um, during certain times of the year, fireplaces are very uh, important. During other times, like I said, a pool is very important. So most of the time, heating and cooling is important no matter what the what the season is but yes the season can definitely affect what people look for and that's one good thing about your website mm -hmm. is we when we do a listing here we show you generally four pictures mm -hmm. but you normally have many more than that on your website and then it'll have a list of all the details we put a few on there and what we talk about but if there's ever a house you like or a home or a listing you can always go to rbnw.com look up that by the MLS number mm -hmm and there's a whole lot more details. Absolutely, tons of details and hopefully tons of pictures that you can see some of those amenities yourself. Okay, now speaking of some homes, we're gonna show you five listings today. Uh, and the first one is in Johnson County in Flat Gap. Correct, I think our first two are both in the Flat Gap area. So if you're looking in that area of Johnson County, that means you're gonna be close to Paintsville Lake mm -hmm. and in that whole area. So uh, the first one, you're gonna go up 172 um, and then you're going to turn on 689 towards Roberts Hollow, which is right there in the main flat gap area. Yes. And um, so it should be easy to find. And there is a sign there. So if you want to do a drive by, you can easily drive by it. But this one also comes with a storage building and a small cabin. And mm -hmm. I think that's cool for anybody who has a hobby or just wants that he shed or a she shed. <laughs> those are hard to say. Exactly. It's got all those extras, plus you have the main house, which is um, just over 700 square feet. It's a two bedroom, one bath, and then the really cool thing that we hardly ever get to say mm -hmm. is that it's also fully furnished. And the price isn't bad on this one either, 67.5. And like you said, you're getting almost an acre. You're getting the 732 square foot house, the storage building, the small cabin. I mean, and it looks just picturesque. Yes, it does. You can tell from the picture that we do have of the interior of the house that you have the spacious rooms. Mm -hmm. So that 700 square feet is used very smartly. It's, it's laid out well. So it's a smaller house, but a small laid out house can be perfect for, you know, that couple or that single mm -hmm. person that wants something that's low maintenance. Absolutely. Again, 67.5, the price on this one. Now this one is Jeremy Duncan's listing. Mm -hmm. He's out of the Paintsville office. So let's give that number. That number is 606-789-8119. Now the next one, again, we said this would be in Flat Gap as mm -hmm. well. Another one of Jeremy Duncan's listing right on Route 172. Yes, so exact same areas before, right on 172 again. So you're getting 13 acres. And the one thing we've talked about this area of Johnson County before mm -hmm. is it's more of the rolling hills type. Mm -hmm. You don't have the steep mountains like you would have around, say, Elkhorn City, Phelps, and that area in Pike County. Uh, this is more the rolling hills, so 13 acres is going to be a, a manageable. It's going to be something that hopefully you should be able to, um, like you said, manage the terrain. Right, and you've got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, and it looks like from the first picture a pretty decent sized yard. Mm -hmm. It does. The yard looks really nice. Um, you're almost 1,600 square feet and then on the main level and you also have below grade um, space that has been finished that's almost 800 square feet. Wow. So right there you're looking at almost 2,400 square feet of finished living space. From the main picture you can't tell that there's a basement at all. Absolutely. So you would never know that and most probably from the drive-by you're still going to struggle to actually see that there is a basement. So this is definitely one that if you want to see how much space you truly get, you need to call Jeremy and get a showing. Right, because you've got the fireplace and we talked about that a few minutes mm -hmm. ago. It's going to be time now that people are going to start saying, forget the pool, how can I stay warm? Yes, exactly. Um, so it's good that we included that picture. So I think this one is going to be one that people will want to take a look at. So uh, we gave the phone number. Let's give Jeremy's email address. Okay, his email will be jduncan at rbnw.com. 
All right. Now, the next one is actually your listing, mm -hmm. and it's in the Huddy community back in Pike County. Correct. And the really cool thing about this one is, um, location-wise, it's in Huddy. Um, but you actually do not get off 119 until you're right there at Jerry Bottom. So if you're from that area and you kind of know where the turn is for uh, 199 going towards Huddy, mm -hmm. you're going to go just past it if you're going towards South Williamson, make that right-hand turn into Jerry Bottom, and you're right there kind of up on the hill um, on Doyle Mountain. So it's a great, convenient location. So you're not far off of 119, mm -hmm. so it's going to be convenient to Williamson, Logan, that area, but also to Pikeville because you don't actually get into the Belfry area on 119 if you're coming from Pikeville. Exactly. Yeah, you're still on this side of the Belfry area, so it's super easy to go either mm -hmm. direction on 119 and uh, be in whichever town very easily. But, you know, we've got a lot of space in this one. Square footage-wise, we've got almost 1,900 square feet. But that gives you four bedrooms and two bathrooms. It is a split bedroom, which means you've got the master on one side. You've got the three other bedrooms on the mm -hmm. other side. You have a very open uh, living room, dining room, kitchen area, beautiful hardwood flooring. They've updated bathrooms. It's one that you really could go in and make a few adjustments and really have a house that you've made your own. And I see the kitchen uh, is laid out nice. It looks mm -hmm. like a large kitchen, kitchen, a lot of countertop space, and then a lot of people like those lighter cabinets. Exactly, yeah. The white cabinets are in, and they've actually gone in and painted those. Um, so that's something that they've kind of done themselves, and it just brightens up the whole space. Yeah, there's a whole lot. I see the stainless appliances, mm -hmm. um, but it looks like there's a ton of room in this one. It looks like the space has been used very well. So. Probably one that somebody's going to want to see pretty soon before somebody snatches it off the market. Exactly, yeah. This is one that if you want to see it, you can just give us a call in the Pikeville office. It's 437-2333. And everything we just told you about, 140000 we didn't even mention, we've got a two-car carport. Mm -hmm. So a lot more to this one than we had time to tell you about. Uh, so if you want to look again, give Jennifer a call. The next one is out of the Pikeville office as well. Mm -hmm. Same general area. This one's at Forest Hills. Yes. Yeah, so if, if you're familiar with where Belfry High School is, mm -hmm. directly across the street is Forest Hills. You're going to go up there um, probably around three miles or so. You're going to turn onto Thompson Hollow, and uh, right there you'll see the turn for Loftus Hollow. Loftus Hollow is actually a gravel road, okay. so when you're going up there, you're good. You're where you're supposed still, to be, yeah. <laughs> but don't think it's somebody's driveway because it will kind of throw you off if you're not prepared for it. It's a good, in good condition gravel road, but it is a gravel road, so just know that if you're going to do a drive-by. And I love this one because it's so large. It's got mm -hmm. 2,400 square feet, five bedrooms, and four bathrooms. So this will accommodate the family with everybody needing their own bathroom. Yes, exactly. And the good thing about this, like I said, it's on that gravel road. Mm -hmm. There's really only two houses on this entire road. Oh, wow. So you really have a ton of privacy. It's in a great kind of remote location almost, but you are directly off of Forest Hills, directly across from Belfry High School, so you're right there, but it really gives you the the idea of being out kind of by yourself. And that's what a lot of people want. They want to feel like they're in the country, but mm -hmm. they don't want to have to drive all that way to get there. Exactly. So if you can be close to everything and still have that feel, that's just a bonus for a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and who doesn't want to escape the hustle and bustle when they go home? <laughs> So, yeah, short drive, but you feel like you've gone to your vacation home. Exactly. And this one's on an acre, so it looks like we've got some space to work with. Yes, and it's it's a good yard size um, with that acre. And then you also have the garage that's attached, a two-car mm -hmm. garage. You've got a detached carport. So you have, again, space inside, outside, in the best of both worlds. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now this one is one, if you want to take a look at this one, get your showing scheduled, call the Pikeville office. Mm -hmm. So let's give that number. That number is 606-437-2333. All right, now we're going to close the show today in McAndrews, Kentucky mm -hmm. with one of Patty Hatfield's listings. Yes, and this one is a fairly new listing. It is a foreclosure. So we do list quite a few foreclosures. If somebody's interested in just any foreclosure property, let us know and we'll see what we can do to help you out. But this one specifically is located in the Pond, on Pond Creek Road mm -hmm. in McAndrews, which is you're going um, right there on 199 and you're about two and, a, two and a half miles up. So all of these last three are in the same general mm -hmm. area. Um, so if it's something, and I know this is something you guys do quite often, if you have a client who is saying, I'm looking for this 
this home, this is kind of what I'm looking for. You're able to pull those listings mm -hmm. up. So it may be that you say, you know, on Thursday afternoon, let's block a couple of hours out of your day mm -hmm. and let's go see three or four homes. Do yes, you do that a lot? Absolutely. We do that a lot. I'm actually working with a bunch of clients right now that we've gone the past couple weekends. We're doing, you know, five, six, seven, eight showings in a Saturday to try to get them. And that's what they're doing. They're telling us the general area they want to be in mm -hmm. and what they're generally looking for. And then we just kind of set up a whole day for them. Absolutely. And I know we can see a lot of things on your website, but you mm -hmm. as a realtor can look more specifically when mm -hmm. you search. So you can say, we want a pool, mm -hmm. we want at least an acre of property, and we want a fireplace. And then that, you can generate a search to where you can get that a whole lot quicker than, let's say, us going through the websites and trying to yeah. pick and choose. Yeah, because you tend to be going through a very large amount of listings when you're doing it by yourself, so we can be a little bit more specific. Not to mention, we've been in a lot of these homes. Absolutely. So you start telling me what you want, I may in my head already have four in my mind that I think actually fit exactly what you want. So there's different reasons that we can help the process go a little bit faster. Because I think a, a big misconception out there is people think you only hire a realtor, or I say hire very loosely, yeah. use a realtor when you need to sell a house. Right. But as you, if you're a buyer, it, it doesn't cost the buyer anything at all to go to somebody who's a realtor and say, help me find my home. Exactly. And honestly, on the buyer side, there's so many advantages to having somebody in your corner to look for those houses, to be able to walk through a house with you and, um, you know, kind of give you ideas, tell you if there may be an issue with financing because of some reason or something like that. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely important to have one on the buying side. Right. Well, on the back to this one, 695 mm -hmm. is is all you're looking for on this. Again, it is a foreclosure and everything mm -hmm. as that is, as is, but that doesn't mean anything's wrong with it. It's just saying it is what it is. And I think a lot of people take advantage of foreclosures. Absolutely. They're sold with no guarantees, no warranties. Like you said, it is as it sits. But you're talking about a 2,000 square foot house in the McAndrews area, if that's the area you're looking mm -hmm. for, for less than $70,000. So dollar amount per square foot, that's a great deal. Something that you can get in, do a little work to, and have a great house. And then talking about it being as is, you can mm -hmm. still come in and have that home inspection done, which I know you guys mm -hmm. recommend it. And that's before you ever commit to anything. Exactly, yeah. You can still do those inspections. You can still do your due diligence in making sure that the house is what you want to purchase. But yeah, absolutely. These are great opportunities to find a pretty good deal. All right. Patty Hatfield's a listing mm -hmm. agent on this one, so let's give her information. Okay. You can call Patty in the Pikeville office, which I've already given you, or you can email her at phatfield at rbnw.com. All right. Now it's time for me to step out and let Jennifer finish the show with her Real Estate Minute. Are you ready to start the house hunting process but aren't sure where to start? First, figure out what you can afford. It is recommended that you start the process by speaking to a lender and getting a pre-approval. This way you know what your price range is and where to focus your house hunt. Second, find your realtor. Definitely take your time and find a realtor that you trust and know will assist you through the entire home buying process. Thirdly, Prioritize your wants and needs. There is no such thing as a perfect house, so decide up front what items are needed and what extra items you want if budget and housing supplies allow. Lastly, work with your lender and realtor to complete the buying process. As a buyer, do your due diligence by completing any contingencies that might be needed, including inspections, surveys, or whatever else might arise on a particular property. The most important thing to remember in house hunting is that it is a process, sometimes a long process, that involves patience and some work, but the reward is a wonderful home for your future. Thank you for watching the Ray Brown Williams Show. We hope to see you again soon.